So it's the fall. The leaves have changed. It's simply gorgeous outside. And a lot of times people don't realize what's happening when the leaves are changing. And I want to do a quick video on that because it relates to antioxidants. So normally a leaf is green because of the chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is part of something called photosynthesis, where it's taking sunlight and creating energy. So at the end of the summer, we have a spike of a certain antioxidant called anthocyanin, okay? This compound gives the leaf its red or purple or even a blue color. It's in currants, eggplant, mm. it's in oranges, blackberries, cherries, grapes. It's there as a pigment and an antioxidant to protect the leaf or the plant from extreme temperatures. But it's very dependent on the pH. So when the pH is like three, which is very acidic, it'll be more red. Between seven and eight, which is more neutral and slightly basic, it turns violet. And as it goes up to 11, which is extremely alkaline, it turns the color of blue. Then we have the antioxidant called carotenoids, which are yellow, red, and orange. There are over 1,100 different carotenoids, one being lutein, which is good for the macula of the eye, or xanthanine, which is good for the brain, for memory. Now, as it gets colder, you get a spike in tannins, which give the color of brown. You also have flavonoids, which are yellow, yellow, red, blue, magenta. And the flavonoids are another antioxidant that gives the plant its UV filtration. You'll see them in parsley, onions, blueberries. Now there's many different unknowns with antioxidants. Do the antioxidants have a direct effect or do they have an indirect effect on the body? We do know they have a great effect in the body, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer. However, one theory out there right now is antioxidants actually increase uric acid in the body. And uric acid is one of the most powerful antioxidants that their body actually makes. So whether that's true or not, we don't know. What we do know is when we consume foods high in antioxidants, our health improves. But just make sure you get your antioxidants from food, not from pills because you can actually make antioxidants in the lab as a genetically modified product, and you want to avoid those. So get your antioxidants from your vegetables. Thanks for watching.